All right, hello, hello guys. We are back in Bishkek and today is actually our last day in Kyrgyzstan and we can't leave the country without making a Kyrgyz food video. So yeah. where are we off to? Let's see if you remember the name. I, I've, been, <laughs> I've, I've been calling it like the wrong thing, like I don't know, probably 10 times in a row. We are off to Arzu. Arzu, oh Arzu. my gosh, he got it. He's called I've it, called it Azur, Azur, Azuras. <laughs> Basically everything aside from Azur. Arzu. Arzu. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's walk over to Arzu. We're just like resting in the shade for like a few brief moments. It's like 35 it degrees is, it's outside. It's so hot and it's only June, so yeah. it's only gonna get worse. Let's go but eat. Anyways, food. We have arrived. It was a really short walk from our hotel. And lucky for us, they have an English menu yes. because our Russian is really, <laughs> really bad. But you know, it was funny. Last night we had Korean food. Yeah. And they had pictures, but everything was in Russian and Kyrgyz but we could understand what everything was just from the pictures and we were like, we were saying And it was in Korean, we could yes. read the Korean. We could read the Korean too. I feel like such a little kid at the table right now. This table is like up to my chest and I'm like, ah, all the food. <laughs> but anyways, um, a few of the dishes have arrived and we got some borsok. And these are little fried pieces of dough. They're fried in oil. And we had these a lot when we were doing our treks and staying in yurt camps. Yeah. Like as soon as we arrived, they would pour us a cup of chai and put a basket of borsuk in front of us. Yeah. And we'd have like all these jams so and fresh chai. This reminds us of like horse trekking and hiking mm -hmm. in Kyrgyzstan, most mm -hmm. definitely. And so yeah, we wanted to kind of replicate that by getting, uh, getting it along with some tea. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's amazing on its own. It's just like fried bread. But if you add some jam or honey, oh. Oh, it's Especially real good. Especially with honey. Honey mm -hmm. for the win. Kyrgyz honey, some of the so best good. in the whole world. All right, yeah. next up. Next up, one of the appetizers we got is Samsi. Mm -hmm. And before I talk about this, I have to say I'm slightly sad because I had a big dream of having <laughs> a, <laughs> a, food dream. a food dream. I had a big dream of having pumpkin manti which is like the Kyrgyz kind of dumplings. Steamed dumplings. Steamed dumplings mm -hmm. and it was going to be filled with pumpkin. And that's what I wanted. But this is an okay, this is an okay replacement. This mm -hmm. is basically, it's, you can imagine, it's sort of like a, uh, it's like, a, it looks almost like a pizza pocket, but yeah. it's like a Kyrgyz style. And they have sesame seeds on the outside and inside there should be meat, fat, and onions. <laughs> so, and it's cooked in a tandoori oven. So, yeah, yeah let's try that. Big bite. Mm. What is that? Mm -hmm. You know what? I take my disappointment back. <laughs> this is really good. This is almost like a sort of like a deep fried manti. Mm -hmm. And inside, I think what really makes this is just how crispy it is on the outside, mm -hmm. but then how juicy it is on the inside. Like you have a lot of juicy meat and onions and mm -hmm. it's just, this is really good. Would you describe it like a ground beef or a diced beef? What's in there? Um, it's more like uh, it's more like ground beef. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but really juicy. Mmm. And to wash it all down because it's really hot outside, and just because, well, I like the local beer here. I've got some arpa, and mm -hmm. let's give that a try. You've been having arpa on the daily. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say daily, but... Well, since we arrived in Bishkek. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I've, had, I've had it every day since we've been in Bishkek. But, yeah. I mean, it's been so hot. So this is a perfect way to cool down. And it's a nice, refreshing beer. So our two mains are here. And if you take a look, I ordered the lagman. And I've been having a lot of lagman since we've been here in Kyrgyzstan, but usually in soup form. You can get, like, noodles with a broth. And this time around, I ordered the fried version. So it looks like this has been stir-fried in a pan. This looks really yeah. good, man. And look at the ingredients. So we have onions, we have yeah. um, red and green bell peppers. What else do we have here? Oh, we have some meat. Yeah. I'm starting to see why this is one of the more popular restaurants in Bishkek. At least, like, we've always been recommended by locals. Like, yeah, everyone says Arzu. Quality has been outstanding so far. And we've been able to order, like, basically all of our, our favorite types of, of mm -hmm. Kyrgyz dishes, mm -hmm. Kyrgyz cuisine. Is it mm. good? No, it's nice. And a little bit of parsley on top. Oh, oh man. yeah. Oh man. Oh man. She says, oh man. She goes in for more. Quality control round two. Good. So Sam also wanted to try <laughs> yeah. some of the bozo lagman. Thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring. Sharing is definitely caring. Oh man. I just had a piece of meat and I dropped it. So. 
Let's try that. I also like that they kind of cut up the noodles. It's not like long mm. stringy spaghetti that you have to twist on your fork. It's easier to eat. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, normally the, the noodles are a lot longer. Mm -hmm. They cut them up. And this is nice. Like, it's a little bit spicy, but not overpowering. It's got a lot of flavor. So the thing I really like are the big, generous slices of meat that you can find in here. So, yeah, it's pretty wonderful, I have to say. And now time for your menu. Yeah, so I'm having plov, or sometimes it's also called pilaf. And this is probably one of the most common foods found throughout Central Asia. Mm -hmm. Like, you will find plov in Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. Basically, in this whole region, it's it's very popular, mm -hmm. and every country kind of has their own unique twist to it. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to try this. So this one has meat. It also has. It appears to have like um some peppers. It has carrots. It has some chives. So let's try that. Boiled eggs. Boiled <laughs> eggs too. Favorite. And I'll, I'll be leaving those for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I had a really big piece of meat and that meat was really like tender and chewy and fatty mm -hmm. that is delicious and I like like this rice is very flavorful too so it's just like just all these different ingredients you've got the vegetables you've got the meat you've got flavorful rice it just makes like for a wonderful dish to accompany like something else like if you're having the next thing that we're getting, we're getting shashalik, the skewered mm -hmm. meat. So this is a perfect complement for something like that. Whale. Well, and well. Since, since I shared... No. Since I shared yes. my meal. Since you shared your meal with me, I think it's only fair that I reciprocate, right? Yeah. And looking at the rice, it almost looks like a, like a brown rice, like a bit of a wild yeah. rice, doesn't it? Yeah. I, was, I, was, I, I wanted to say that, but I forgot. But yeah. yeah. It really does. It does look like a wild or a brown and rice. And it's also a shorter rice. Mm -hmm. Mm. Isn't that nice? That's really good. It's really good. And you know what? What? They brought us over this like spicy chili paste. I'm not sure if it's meant for the noodles or for the rice. But I'm just gonna <laughs> put some in the rice. I for, yeah, I forget what, which which dish it was brought with. I have a feeling it's for the Maybe noodles. Maybe for the, the noodles. Rice, we'll see how it goes. We we tend to roll, don't tell anyone. We tend to roll a little bit weird sometimes. So yeah. Let's see. Let's try it like that. Mmm, it works. It works? It works. Tasty. Mm -hmm. And definitely more spicy. Mm -hmm. And the star Ooh. of the show has arrived. All right, so this is the last one. We ordered shashlik, which is a skewered meat. And we got the lamb. Ooh. And it came covered in onions and dill. Oh, this is where you get to see that I don't have a lot of talent <laughs> in the meat department. Ooh. There, that wasn't what? so messy. You got it off. You got it off. Good All right, job. set this down. This giant skewer that takes up half the table. And let's try the shashlik. Absolutely. Dig in. Yeah. And like a traditional shashlik is usually lamb, but these days you can get like beef, you can get yeah. chicken. We ordered the lamb, correct? Yeah, we got lamb. It's it's always the best. It's the yes. tastiest. Like we've had a lot yeah. of shashlik and I was a little disappointed by the chicken one. Yeah. But lamb, you can't go wrong and with it. When I thought about coming back to Kyrgyzstan, mm. the one must food mm. that I had to have again was the shashlik. That is my, oh my favorite gosh. favorite food in Kyrgyzstan for sure. You're gonna love this. Yeah. So good. Tender as tender mm. can be. Flavorful. It's really nice, really juicy. Oh man. Lamb shashlik, guys. Mm -hmm. The must try food of Kyrgyzstan. Time for my first bite. I'm gonna try it with the sauce. Take it for a swim, as we like to say. As good as you remember. It gets better with every bite. Like it's like it's so juicy. It's like the flavor kind of reveals itself slowly. Mm. Mm. Sam's being all poetic about meat over here. A true carnivore. Honestly, you know what? Our very last meal in Kyrgyzstan is going to be tonight, mm -hmm. and we're going out with friends, and we're going for. Uh, it was described as a shashlik blowout, so oh. we're gonna be having more of this tonight. So this is like the perfect way to be ending things off here in Kyrgyzstan, I have to say. And the meal is over. Oh, so sad. We were so stuffed. You mean. So yeah, sad and stuffed because we originally thought maybe we'd have some room for dessert, but mm -hmm. oh, my be happen. my belly feels like it's gonna explode right now. It's a sign of a good meal, though. Anyways, 
onto that time price point. So that came to 930 SOM, which currently is just over 13 US dollars. Like pretty insane value. So this is like a popular restaurant. It's a bit fancier here, but still it was really affordable. So that was like, I had a beer, a huge pot of tea. Mm -hmm. We had like an appetizer. Yeah. Oh, two appetizers. Yeah. The pastry and the bread, the rice, the noodles, and the meat. So like you're talking like seven things for 13 US dollars. You can't go wrong. And I can see why this restaurant's really popular. It's actually our first like sit down meal here. Um, we actually, the very first time we came to Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan, mm -hmm. our good friend Steven recommended we come here for a manti. Mm -hmm. And that was in the evening when they were actually making it. So we had only tried the manti here before. So and we did take away. Yeah, we did take away. So mm -hmm. we never sat down here. So it was the first time to actually come and have a proper meal here. And I can say I highly, highly, highly recommend Arzu. The, the food is fantastic. The prices are, are just right. And the service is great. So definitely come here if you're in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. And I'm so pleased you got the name right. <laughs> yeah, finally, Arzu. finally.